What's going on guys? This is Sim with Vengeance and I am back here with Arkansas State's uh, offseason. So if you guys are wondering why I'm not oh, why I'm not uh, doing this live like I usually do, well it's because um, I am currently on a road trip to Seattle. Well I'm actually in Seattle but I'm taking a road trip out there because I got some stuff out there that I need to take care of. But, if you guys are excited for today's video, make sure you guys drop a like. New to the channel at all, hit, hit that subscribe button. I promise, next season, for, for all of my dynasties and franchises, that there will be a live stream. It's just that this time around, there's some circumstances that I need to do that took place, and I'm not able to do it this time around. So, let me just grab my controller, and we will get underway. If you guys missed it last game, go check it out. But if you guys have already seen it, I would, uh, well... If you haven't seen it yet, pause the video, click back, and then do it. Here's your chance to do it. Ready? Okay. We upset Texas with a 25-point comeback in a wowing fashion. We were down 28-3, to just like the Falcons were up on the Patriots in the Super Bowl. But the, we stormed back, and we beat the Texas Longhorns in an epic comeback that I didn't even think was possible, but we did it, and we are ready to start our season two off season, and we're gonna lose a lot of good players. <clears throat> so this means that, you know, last three seasons have been 10 win seasons. Uh, we're gonna sign the contract for our third year. Um. So we're going to go on to the coaching carousel, see what's available, I guess. We signed the contract already, um, but I did take that seven-year contract. LSU and Auburn are hiring. Um, so we're going to go to the next stage. You guys have also suggested that we move to the Big 12. And now that I think about it, it might be the best. Th it might be in our best interest to do so. Uh, because we just beat a Big 12 team in Texas. Yeah, we struggled against Oklahoma, and that game happened. But you know, that was that was a, a, that was one of the biggest off games I think I've ever had in, in NCAA. But I think we could probably legitimately compete in the Big 12, uh, considering that the sliders haven't changed at all. Uh, but we got a new offensive coordinator. And we got a big boost on offensive coordinator. That is a huge boost. Uh, so we got 21 skill points that we're going to use up here. So one, two, three, four. All right, so we got seven left. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the only things we have left are obviously athlete and mathlete. Um, so that's plus one, plus one awareness for level one, and I'm pretty sure it's like plus four or five by max level. Uh, agility, strength, and acceleration. Uh, but nothing big there. Um, nothing really too much right here. We're just focusing on recruiting, I guess, for right now. Uh, but we got a we got a new offensive coordinator, and that's actually going to help us out greatly because. Um, we are going to lose a lot of players this this year. We're going to lose James Morgan. I'm not even ready for that. Uh, homesick. Ooh, that's not good. Greg Brooks is homesick. Oh, man. I don't know if I can convince him to stay. Homesick. He's going to go back to Alabama. Chris Newton, the linebacker. He's going... We're losing Derek Por David Porter at our free safety. That's going to hurt. James Morgan, uh, Josh Brown, Kyle Joseph, uh, Callan Brown, Colton Cook, Chris N Newton, Eddie Williams, John Bryant, Andrew Sutton, Kirk Brown, Kevin Johnson, uh, Bill Kaplan, and Jimmy Hill, and Greg Brooks. Uh, we're also losing Jason Brewer to graduation, but it's not like, you know. Congratulations, they all graduated. 
But some of these guys were just like, eh. I'm not gonna convince somebody that if they're homesick players, that I'm just I'm not even gonna give them. A sh I'm not even gonna try to make them go anywhere else. You know? Oh wait, no, I can't. I can't export. What am I doing? I don't have Madden 25. All right, so this isn't a clear soda, by the way. It's Mountain. It's Mountain Dew. It's weird how everything green just blends in. That's why it's called a green screen, I suppose. But, we don't have any players going to the draft. Uh, I wish James Morgan would have tried at least. I think he would have made it something out of it. Any draft? Oh, we got a couple. We got a... We got Brad Turner, freshman receiver uh, from SMU. 76 overall. Pretty good player. We're going to accept We're gonna accept him. And then we got Antonio Payne from ULM. That's that's good. I like that. You know, I'll take both of them, obviously, but we'll see how that plays out. Recruiting. Um, usually, the few, first few stages always fly by. We all know that. Um, so now we're gonna take care of the the biggest process of them all, and that is recruiting. All right. So we'll see how this ends up being I'm I'm not gonna get the number one recruiting class like I did in UAB I'm not looking for that but as long as we get something good you know I'm not gonna complain we're not gonna complain at all uh, we got a big lead from Ben McAfee we don't have any of these players committed yet just yet either we're gonna go like 2,000 on Ben McAfee cuz I really really want him he is a he's a he's a difference maker I think with our, I think with the fact that we got to change a lot of things on offense next year, it's going to be a lot more tough for us because we're going to have like an identity crisis. I feel like uh, Mike Livingston, I kind of want him, so I'm going to put like a few thousand on him as well because uh, we got a big lead to catch up on on Arkansas, and then we got to try and beat out that player for that player as well. So we're going to put like 3,300. Uh, we got a lead on Mike Rob Michael Roberts. I'm going to go put a. Uh, we might want to put a couple thousand on him, or like at least, yeah, you know, at least eighteen hundred or nineteen fifty. That sounds good. Um, I don't think I'm gonna go on for him. I'm not gonna pursue him. Got a big deficit on him, but we got a lot of players already. Um, so if I don't get any of these players, I think we're only gonna go for those three. Those three are the big ones that I need to go after. So I'm gonna go after them. We're gonna go like Hmm. I want Livingston, so I'm gonna put like four thousand on him. And I really want Ben McAfee, so We'll see uh, 3,800 here. And we're going to go for Michael Roberts. So we are got we got a few four-star recruits. That's what I wanted. Um, and the rest are three stars or two stars. We're not going to get anybody spectacular. Uh, well, we might get a couple spectacular players, but we're not going to get, like, the top of the, the cream of the crop. You know what I mean? We're not going to get the cream of the crop like we did in, um, you know, Oh, like UAB in the past. Like we've gotten UAB in the past, like cream of the crop players, instant commits, all that stuff. We got the, like the whole nine with UAB so far. Um, but you know it's all right. We're we're not losing sleep over it or anything like that. So we're gonna see how we do in recruiting. We might have one of the top recruiting classes. I'm at, I'm probably I'm almost certain we're like in the top thirty. All right, we got him. We got. Oh, we didn't get Mike Livingston. That sucks. Oh, that sucks. We didn't get him after we put all those points on him. We got David Lewis and Michael Austin and Ryan Baker, uh, Lance Henderson. So that kind of sucks that we didn't get Livingston. I, I'm I'm a little upset about that. Not gonna lie. So let's take a look who got the top class. I'm pretty sure it wasn't us, but we got with 31st. Okay, that's not terrible. We got 20 recruits, a lot of three stars. 
few four stars, even one one star. Ew. I mean, we'll see how it works out, but I'm not feeling too. Uh, I'm not, not. That's not too shabby. That's not too shabby at all. I'm. I'm actually pretty happy about that. Georgia had the number one recruiting class. Who had the most five stars? Texas A&M at two. They had two five stars with Penn State, LSU, and Florida. Four stars that belongs to Ohio State. Three stars goes to Wisconsin. Two stars Tulane. One star is UNLV. The total number of recruits signed goes to Kansas State. But overall, I'm pretty happy with the results. I'm actually not that upset by that. Um, 31st. Considering that, you know, there could have been a... I mean, we had a lot of three-star recruits. I'm pretty sure that's helped us out. But we had a lot of... We had a few four stars uh, that ended up turning out pretty well. We got a viewer signings here. We got three four stars. The rest are threes. Or most of them are threes. But I'm, I'm happy with the recruiting class. A 31st is not bad at all. I'll take it. I will take it. Um, mm -hmm. But I think that was like the best Sunbelt recruiting class I think that was. I'm not sure. I'm not even worried about that because we're going to the Big 12 anyway. I might, I'm might. i going to move some teams around so we can better accommodate for those teams that are good and they can actually get some competition. Um, so let's take a look here. Uh, we got Ben S Brandon Smith, 80 speed. And then we have Clint Singleton. Um, how good if he would he be at like a tackle or like a, a one of those defensive positions? Not very good. Um, 67 quarterback, 67 running back, 57 receiver. Ouch. He's not a very good defensive player. Take a look at quarterback, Kenny Smith. We got James. We got John Johnson and John Ramsey. He also have Robert Bowling. Um, running backs, Clark Douglas, Clay Jackson. We got Pete or Perry Wheeler, Jeremy Holloway, um, and Justin Noble. We don't have a very good running back class anymore, man. This is going to suck. Well, I mean, we got a lot of young you got a, a lot of young players too. We got just I don't know. Um, we may have to put him at quarterback. Who's our third string quarterback? Yeah, these guys might be redshirted and this guy might be cut, so I'm probably going to put Ben Smith, Brandon Smith at quarterback, and Singleton at pretty good at running backs. Really good at receiver. Holy smokes. 78 as a receiver. He might start. Oh, no, actually, he wouldn't, but um, actually, he might. I don't know. Alex Campbell can't seem to catch the ball, but Clint Singleton, 6'5", 230. Let's put him at receiver and see what happens. And let's take a look. Any other positions? I don't think I need to change any. Um, let's take a look at Kenny Smith. Is he gonna be? Is he a good running back? Would he be a good running back? No. He's a pretty good solid receiver as well. He can catch the ball, surprisingly. Uh, but he's a senior now, and I kind of want Thomas Wilson to start. Um, Cause I feel like Kenny's kind of not that good of a quarterback. As a quarterback, I mean, he's going to be low on the depth chart as a receiver. And where would he be as a running back? 67. 68 as a receiver. Um, I might as well just keep him at quarterback. Um, Thomas Wilson can run, too. That's, that's obviously a good use of my time. Um, I don't know about Clark Douglas, though. I really don't know how he's going to turn out. Perry Wheeler. I might put Holloway at running back this year. I don't know. I'm, this is going to be a test year. This is going to be a really down year for us, I think. We we got a lot of good players that have potential, but I'm not so sure that I'm sold on them. 
Because I'm not sold on Clark Douglas. I'm not sold on Clay Jackson. He's kind of tiny. 5'7", 161. He's, he, they considered him a power back. That's like, what? 206, 177, 212. Like, these guys have some build to them. Like, I don't know about some of these guys. Um, Lorenzo Harrison's going to be a senior. Freshman receiver here. Freshman receiver here. Got a sophomore. A senior here. Alex Campbell. I might put Clint Singleton and Ben McAfee as the starting receivers in this group. Uh, because they seem to have a lot of... They have a higher ceiling. Do I want to keep changes? Yes, I do. Uh, next will be the training results. So this this is going to be interesting because I don't know where we're going to end up, honestly. I don't know. I might put Appalachian State in the ACC. I'm not sure. <laughs> so, okay, Lorenzo Harrison's now a 90. So we got J Jason Brown as a 90. Kenny Smith's now an 87. Roger Kane in 86. All right, let's go by position. Uh, Thomas Wilson's now an 82, which is uh, what I like. Robert Bowling had a really jump up here. It's going to be hard to cut him, but, I mean, we got to do what we got to do. Uh, Clark Douglas up to an 84. Clay Jackson up to an 81, but I'm still not sold on Clay. Uh, Justin Noble up to a 67. We got Flanagan up to an 85. Um, Brad Turner had a huge jump to an 81. Um, I don't think he could play the first year, though. He's going to be big, though, once he's uh, eligible, I think. So he, I don't think he can play. Alex Campbell up to a 79. Matt Strong up to a 77. Matt Marcus Barnes. We got a lot of receivers. A lot of receivers. Blake Douglas and Chad Ford up to their 80s. Freddie Davidson up to an 80, 77. Pretty solid offensive line, except for the left guard. Center is really good at seven or 86. His replacement is going to be like an 80 next year, so that helps me out a little bit more. Um, and his, let me see, is he going to be a sophomore? Here, he's a freshman red shirt, so that's a big boost for me. Uh, 76 at right guard, and I don't have a right tackle. Roger Kane, pretty good improvement. Um, right, Ray Franklin, pretty good. Trevor McGrew, pretty good. Okay, I'm seeing some pretty good results here. I like these results. I'm not average. They're not good, but they're not great. Kenny Bush, up to an 83, 91 speed. Landon Clay is gonna be a big impact this year. Ryan Dixon, back for his senior season. We're we're seeing some pretty good improvement here. Steve Richard up to a 77. Uh, Jason Brown up to a 90, and we got Ron Mayer up to a 70. That's not really good. And we have Jason Humphrey up to an 81. So we may have to change up our style a little bit on offense in order for us to uh, be happy with what we got. Cutting players is never an easy thing to do, but we got to do it anyway. So we'll see how we, what we have to do here. We have seven players to cut, and I'm sorry, but John Ramsey, we got Brandon Smith, John Johnson. We got too many quarterbacks. You got to go. I want to move Kenny somewhere else. We have five quarterbacks. Five. That is absurd. Justin Noble. Clay Jackson. I, I'm not sold on him. He's too... I mean, he had a good... He had a couple of good plays last year. I'm not going to lie. But I'm kind of leaning towards just going another direction with this. I'm not sure. I don't want to cut a running back. Especially since they're all freshmen or redshirted. Um, Moses, brand new player. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that to him. Yeah, Perry Wheeler's not really one that I, I was sold on anyway. Um, I have to cut some receivers. I know that. They didn't really see any any improvement either. It sucks. TJ Davis, got to go. Marcus Barnes. Man, this is this is rough. I'm going to have to cut Joe, Josh Thurman too. Tight ends. I got three really good tight ends. I have just too many receivers. 
I have one. It's a 63 overall. Eric Felder. He's not even that good. He's got a minus six. Howard Smith, on the other hand, he's got a plus seven. So he's got... He's showing that he can at least grow. He didn't, like, digress when I scouted him. So that's at least a sign, you know? Hmm... Alex Campbell can't catch the ball to save his life. Um... Quentin Adams. I gotta cut him. He's no good. And I got a Juco. That's not even gonna be good either. He's already down in dumps anyway. So I need to cut one more. And I got pretty good safeties, surprisingly. Um, who's my worst player? Oh, I need to keep him. That's booty. Well, I can cut this guy, but he's a freshman. That's not a good thing to do. And I don't want him either. So we're going to have to cut those guys. Some of you guys may be yelling at me in the comment section already, but that's that's what happens. You gotta cut, you gotta do some things that you just don't want to do. Mm. You just gotta do some things that you just aren't gonna be comfortable. We'll see how it works, though. We'll see how how well this works out because we're gonna be moving conferences now. We're gonna be changing up some things, and uh, it's gonna be interesting. This is gonna be. But like both dynasties coming into next year, gonna be so interesting. Like you might, you, you might want to get a bag of popcorn ready, because this is gonna be one of those weird things. It's just gonna be like things are changing, and whether we lost our a Heisman winning quarterback that won us three national championships, or a, we're just changing conferences and we're trying to i trying to re-identify ourselves. That's that's a thing. Like we're gonna move some teams over here. We're gonna move ourselves to the Big Twelve, and we're gonna move Appalachian State to the ACC. We'll move them to the Atlantic. So they got eight teams in the Sun Belt right now. I might move some over. Independence. Move BYU to the Sun Belt. Hmm. Hmm. I think that works. Yeah, it works. Um, American Conference, I think I like where that's at. Big 12. If we have one more Big 12, we can have a conference championship game. If we add one more Big 12 team, we can have a conference championship. Because right now we're at 11 teams. Um, yeah, let's move Army there. Army, army, we can move army there. Let's move army to the Big Twelve. Um, Big Twelve, Big Twelve North and Big Twelve South. So I need a, I need a map. Let me take a look at the map. Big Twelve map. All right, so we got here. So let's just say that we have okay, we have Iowa State, Kansas, Kansas State. We have Iowa, Iowa State, Kansas State, Kansas. Let's put West Virginia in the place of Baylor. Um, Oklahoma, Oklahoma State. Uh, okay, we might be in the south. 
this is a little bit further north, so we're going to put Oklahoma right here. Because Oklahoma and Texas need to be in the same side of the conference, I feel like. Um... see so technically we would be in the south that seems about legitimate because Arkansas is just a little bit of a southern more more southern state than Oklahoma as far as like geographical wise uh, so I feel like if we put ourselves with Arkansas State we have Oklahoma Texas TCU Texas Tech and Baylor but also we could go east and west. So I'm trying to think. If we go east and west. So let's just say this is the west and this is the east. We got West Virginia. Iowa State. Well we can't even technically go. Or we got. If we were to go east then we would be over here. And we would replace ourselves. With Oklahoma State. So then we, we would be placed over here. So you got, wait, let's see. We got Oklahoma State. Oklahoma, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's see. And then you got six with TCU. So, if we go east and west, because technically, you know, Big 12 is like armies in New York. Uh, so, I'm taking a look at my computer screen right here. We got, our, we could put Army, Oklahoma, and Arkansas State in one side <clears throat> with Kansas State. Kansas, West Virginia, Iowa State, or we could go, we could go um, north and south, uh, and replace us with Oklahoma State, and we could be in the same side as Texas, Oklahoma, TCU, Texas Tech, and Baylor. Um, but if we want to do it, try and competitively uh, balance it out. Um. If I want to competitively balance this out, because I'm not going to be ranked next year, I would move... I'm going to do this competitively... I'm going to do this in a way that's competitively balanced. So, we're going to do this like Texas Tech... Swap Texas Tech with Kansas. I think we're going to switch ourselves up with... We're not going to be ranked. I don't think we are. We're going to move over here. Um... We gotta keep Texas and Oklahoma on the same side. Um, TCU. And actually, we should just go north and south, honestly, because I feel like that's just the better way to go. I wanted to try and competitively balance it out, but I don't think that's gonna work. Because there's too many, there's too many top-heavy teams, and there's too many bottom feeders in the Big 12. Um, you got top-heavy dogs like Texas and Oklahoma, TCU and Baylor, and then you got bottom feeders like Iowa State and Kansas, and sometimes Kansas State and Texas Tech. Um, not to not to offend any fans, but sometimes Texas Tech can be a bit of a bottom feeder. They have good years and they have bad years. Um, so we're gonna go north and south. So this was on the right. We got the north, and we got the south. So we're gonna go. We're going to go Texas Tech and replace it with Kansas State. And we got TCU and Kansas. And since Oklahoma State is a little bit further north than Oklahoma, um, that's still going to be, you know, a thing. Um, I still think they're going to play each other in the conference games, but I could be wrong. Um, so that's going to be the, this is going to be the north right here, where you see on the left. And then the right is going to be the south. Uh, so we – I don't know how many – other. Other conference games, like how much, how long we're gonna play the North, or how long we're gonna play the South, or whatever may have you. Um, so, Big Ten stays the same. I feel like I don't think I need to make any changes. Um, Independence, Notre Dame's the only independent left. Um, the MAC, the end, the the Mountain West looks pretty balanced. Uh, Pac-12 stays the same. Big SEC stays the same. Sun Belt, it's gonna change up a little bit, but I feel like it balanced it out enough to the point where we have. If there's nine teams in the conference. I feel like that's enough. Uh, but we needed to get Appalachian State out of there because I feel like they're just 
too it's too imbalanced for them to just sit there and dominate when they could play teams like Virginia Tech and uh, Georgia Tech and Florida State and Clemson. They could easily get competition from those games. Uh, so we're going to move to the Big 12. It's going to be interesting because I'm going to name them the Big 12, the Big 10, 12, and the Big the Big 12, Big 12 North, Big 12 South. So we're going to BCS Bowl tie-ins, custom conferences. Uh, Big 12. Division 1 name is the North. Oh, I can't spell. Ah. North. And then we got South. And do we have any... Oh, we have a, we have a rivalry game with Army? Okay. I uh, didn't put protected rivals on, but whatever. Uh, weekday games, Thursday only. That's fine. I really don't care. Uh, we could find a resort that could probably work. Where is a Southern Texas kickoff in Houston, Texas? Cowboy kickoff, Dallas, Texas. Dallas Stadium. Florida, Georgia, and Jacksonville, Florida. Kind of want to meet in the middle, but if I have to go play in Texas for the championship game, part of Dallas Bowl, Manikee Car Care Bowl, Sun Bowl, Rose Bowl, eh. Looking at the map, see if I can get anything in like Oklahoma or something. Probably not. I may have to go Dallas. I might have to go Dallas. I might. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Dallas. <clears throat> All right. So we're gonna go Dallas. We're gonna go Dallas, Texas. Uh. Nothing too spectacular there, but that's probably the best I can do. Uh, Oklahoma, Oklahoma State. West Virginia, Texas Tech. Hmm. Let's see if I do put on protected rivals. We got Iowa State and Texas. Iowa State and Texas? Really? Select a crossover team for Iowa State. That's booty. That's bogus. Kansas and TCU. Yeah, I'm going to turn off protected rivals still. I don't like that. I don't like some of the rivalries in that. I thought that was just a little bit of a bogus thing. Advance to the next stage. Preseason. The good part. The really good part. Because then we get to start the next set of games. All right. Ooh, my back is cracking like a mug. Yeah, I tried to make it, like, I, I know some of you guys in the comments are already thinking, like, eh, yeah, well, this and that with the custom conferences and all that stuff. I, I, I'm trying. I tried, okay? So, let's take a look at our conference games. We got Oklahoma State first, Kansas second, Oklahoma, Iowa State, Kansas State, uh, Texas Tech, Baylor, or Baylor, I said Baylor, and then we have Texas last, at, oh, God. Oh, that's going to be horrible. Uh, so who do we got? We got a rivalry game here at ULM, but I'm going to cancel that. Um, we got a South Alabama game that I can't cancel right now, but let's take a look at week one and see what we can get. I am not battling number one Alabama. I may consider Arizona. UCF is interesting. Utah, Utah State, ULM, Tulane, Colorado, Colorado State, uh, Central Michigan. Uh, we got Air Force, Akron. Alabama, Appalachian State, Arizona, Arkansas, Auburn, Ball State, Boise State, Bowling Green, Buffalo, California, 
Central Michigan, Colorado State, Duke, ECU, Eastern Michigan, FIU, Florida, Florida Atlantic, Fresno State, Hawaii, Houston, Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Kent State, Kentucky, LSU, Louisiana Tech, Marshall, Maryland, Memphis, Miami, Miami, Ma uh, Michigan, Michigan oh, Middle Tennessee State, Minnesota, uh, Mississippi State, Missouri, um, Arkansas, or not Arkansas State, uh, <laughs> North, ah, North Carolina State, Nebraska, Nevada, New Mexico, North Texas, Northern Illinois, Northwestern, Notre Dame, Ohio, Ole Miss, Oregon, Oregon State, Penn State, Purdue, Rice, Rutgers, SMU, San Jose State, San Diego State, too. Southern Miss, Stanford, Syracuse, Temple, AM, Texas State, Toledo, Troy, Tulsa, UCF, UCLA, UL, Lafayette, UL Monroe, UNC Charlotte, UNLV, USC, UCASA, Utah, Utah State, Vanderbilt, Virginia, Wake Forest, Washington State, Western Michigan, Wisconsin, Wyoming. Um. Interesting group here. Um, hmm. What looks interesting? Hmm. Kent State's interesting, I guess. Oh, if I say I guess, then it's not really all that interesting now, is it? Uh, East Carolina. Haven't faced them in any of my dynasties, I don't think. Let's see if I can battle Arkansas at the week one. I can't. That's bogus. Let's see who I can battle week 12. BYU, Cincinnati, California, Iowa. Um, let's see who can battle the week before. A lot of ranked teams. Oh, my. Um... Hmm. Who can we battle here? Bowling Green, Florida. Eh, let's go to Florida. Screw it. We'll battle Florida. We'll take an L here. <laughs> I haven't I haven't played Florida in, in, in any of the dynasties that I've played. Uh, so it'll be interesting. I haven't played Florida in a long time, so we'll we'll see how this one goes. Um Number seven, Florida. So that's I think that's our only ranked game. Well, besides Texas, that's our only ranked game on the schedule on the dock. Uh, our home games this year we have one, two, three, four, five. So we have one, and we didn't include this one just yet. But if we change it up, I'm pretty sure we can. I want to go. I mean, we could go Arkansas again, but. I don't want to make that too much of a trend, I guess. Let's see if we can battle week one. Not much. There's really nothing there, and I do not want to battle Alabama. And I don't like I don't want to battle Arkansas too much because I play them in the SEC a lot. And I you know, it gets boring after a while facing the same teams over and over again. So it's like I already face them in the SEC, I kinda of want to avoid the SEC as far as scheduling goes. I hope you guys understand that part. We could battle Georgia Tech. Or we could battle Iowa. That sounds interesting. Yeah, let's go for Iowa. We haven't played Iowa at all. We've kind of left Iowa just there. Um, who can we battle week one? We already got an A-minus schedule, so we might as well just try and get an easy out-of-conference schedule game. You know, I don't want to make this brutal... Like I did that one year with UAB, and I'm surprised I got out of that alive. Um, you know, we could battle like Tulane, I guess. Tulane sounds interesting. We need a home game to start off the year. Try and get our feet wet with this new team. Tulane sounds pretty interesting, right? So we got Tulane, Tulane Green Wave. We got Iowa, um, Oklahoma State, Kansas. Oklahoma, Iowa State, uh, Kansas State, Florida, Texas Tech, Baylor. Two weeks off here. TCU and then Texas. That's that sounds fair. We got one, two, three, four, five, 
Six. Six home games, six road games. That's how I like it. I kind of like it balanced so I don't have like too many home games, too many road games. Set up the recruiting board. Let's skip to recruiting. I want to create prospects. I really do. But it's like, it's kind of hard when, you know, I'm doing this on a recording. So, like I said, next, next off season will be live stream. So, that is a guarantee. Um, so now, we search for prospects. 2710, as expected. Oh my god, we got a five-star athlete that's interested in coming to Arkansas State. That is freaking awesome. Any others? Any? Come on. Any? Any takers? Any takers? Any takers? I'll take one. That's fine by me. That's better than nothing. It's a start. Uh, we got a four-star athlete here. At 6'5", 232. Good grief. Um, get all the four stars out of the way first. Like I'll take anything I can get at this point with this team because we're pretty much started. We're pretty much hitting the reset button. Got a half back here at a four star. Uh, four star here. Four star here. Four star here. They're fourth on the list. Any of them fifth? Have three stars. Any four stars? There's one that's seventh. We might as well take a shot at it. It's a long shot, but we have a chance. Um. We might as well just go for a lot of three stars as well. Um, 69 overall, 67, 71 quarterback. Okay, I don't want to pass on. I don't want to take a quarterback. Uh, 69 tackle. I'll take that. 69 strong safety. He's a one-star recruit. It's, oh, he's a JUCO. That's why. Um. 68 running back, 65 receiver. He's a speed receiver, so we'll give him a shot. I got a bunch of running backs already. So I mean, it's not bad to have a bunch, but I just don't want too many because then they'll just start leaving. Um, <laughs> 68 halfback, and that's 67. We might as well just load up on some 70 quarterback. That's awesome. Um. We need a corner. 64 is free safety. 59 middle linebacker. Hopefully he can improve because I think with some of these guys, you just never know what you're going to get. Um, hmm. Three star corner. Hmm. 72 is always oh, a Juco. Again. That sucks. I don't like JUCOs. I'm just not a fan of them. They're, they're just fod, fodder at this point. Like, I just don't like them. And we might as well take a shot at it. 66 free safety. 68 corner. 60, oh, he's a Juco. Hmm. Fullback, that's a, not a bad idea to grab one. Uh, you can never go wrong with getting a fullback. 62 strong safety. You know, I'll get. I'll take that guy. I'll take a chance on that guy. Um, <clears throat> How could you be that terrible? Don't even try to come to Arkansas State, bro. Like, if you're that terrible, you shouldn't even be playing Division One football. Go play Division Two. You might actually succeed. I'm sorry, but if you're th that's terrible. Juco, Juco, Juco. Hmm. Um, Opportunity Washington. <laughs> That's a little funny. Uh, let's take a look at the state of Arkansas. Any five-star recruits there? Well, no, but we have a few four-stars. We might as well take a shot at some of them. Um, 
He wants to go to the army or the navy. He wants to join the military. I'm surprised I passed up on this guy. Why? Uh, why did I pass up on him? Oh, it's because I have a crap ton of quarterbacks. All right, let's give this a shot. Let's give it a whirl. Ted Cobb. Pretty good. I mean, he only lost one. It's not a big deal. He went up one. Oh, Pat Jackson. Why? Uh, okay. 74. Okay. Oh, come on. Some of these guys gotta go off the board. Okay, that's fine. Ah. Oh. Oh, jeez. Ooh. Shine bright like a diamond! Shine bright like a diamond! That's what you did right there, Chance. Chance is... I'm, I'm going after that guy. I am going after Chance Bush. He just, like, flew right off the page. Whoa. Okay, okay. Jamarcus King. Pretty good. Okay, I don't have any points left, but that's fine. Alright. That's fine. You know, we'll live with that. That Those plays right there. Those. Um, wait. Um, let's register some players first before I do anything else. Before I forget. John Ramsey... Hmm, John Johnson, Brandon Smith, John Ramsey. We're gonna, we're gonna redshirt both of them. Um, Holloway, I might keep around. I'm not sure how I want to do this. Perry Wheeler. Jeremy Holloway's gonna get redshirted. I like his speed though, so I don't know if I want to redshirt him because he might be a solid return guy. I don't know that. Um, bunch of receivers. These guys are probably starting, so Brad Turner's got to sit out a year because he's a transfer. Um, redshirt him. Redshirt. Red shirt. Can't red shirt a right tackle. That's booty. <clears throat> well, I can't. I can red shirt him, but I won't. Red shirt you. Oh man, why is this a thing? Oh, my defensive line is so damn bad. I'm sorry, but that's just terrible. Oh, you're getting red shirted. Oh, I'm throwing the red shirt on you so hard. Senior, senior Ryan Dixon. No. I'm not redshirting him either. Definitely not redshirting him. He's my best player. Um, who isn't redshirted? That is. I have to do it. I have to redshirt him. Redshirt you too. Kenny Smith. Um, then you got Thomas Wilson, John Johnson. Potential here at quarterback. Not gonna lie. I just don't know if I can put away Jeremy Halloway. Like, let me take a look at who's got the best speed on my team. Pretty sure it's Halloway. Yup, it's Halloway. Halloway and Dixon. I don't like the acceleration on um, Halloway, but I think that could easily improve. Um, I don't think I'll redshirt him, though. Um, Steve Richard. Um, I don't know if I want to redshirt Holloway, though. He might actually play some snaps at running back. I'm not sure. I see the potential that he has. I I see it somehow. So I, I just like speed. Speed kills. Uh, hmm. Let's see. Let's put it here. Okay. 
So I want to try and get those extra those extra points weeks one through seven. You know what I mean? Um, let's take a look at the depth chart. We might put Thomas Wilson at starting quarterback again. He was really good last year, so I kind of want to put him there. Clark Douglas, Clay Jackson, Pete or Perry Wheeler, and Kevin Moses. We'll see how it goes. Running back is going to be a tough position for us this year. We're going to have an identity crisis. Um, I want to put Singleton, and I'm going to put McAfee as my top receivers. I don't like Alex Campbell. I don't. He dropped a lot of passes last year. He had more drops than he did catches, and I can't have that. I just can't. Catching ability is only a 78. That's like, that's kind of low for a guy who's a senior. Especially since all these other guys have high ceilings. Especially if I get one-on-one -on -one with the edge of Clint Singleton, it's gonna be it's gonna be fun to watch. Uh, yeah, let's see here. Kick return. All right, we got Holloway and we got Dixon. All right, let's see how that works out. Let's, I'm, I'm willing to give this guy a chance. John Johnson doesn't have a very good strength rating, but I'm pretty sure that could improve over time. Let's take a look at the throw throwing abilities of John Johnson here. Throwing power 81, throwing accuracy of 70. Thomas Wilson has. Uh, I might start Kenny. I might start Kenny. Like Kenny's got. I think Kenny took some off-season drills where he improved his throwing, uh, throwing abilities. If anything, Thomas Wilson can start next year anyway. It's not a big deal. Clark Douglas, junior running back. Same with Clay Jackson. I'm not so sure how this is going to work out, honestly. Uh, yeah, we're looking pretty solid at receiver. We got one really good receiver, and the rest are just young, raw talent. That's not a bad thing, though. I mean, we, we get to see, at least test the waters. Um, defensively, how are we looking? That's what I'd like to see. Free safety, Steve Richard. We have another free safety. And Chris Fort. Kenny Bush. Landon Clay. Ryan Dixon. RJ Johnson. And Chris Manning. A lot of changes here. Lots of changes. We got Cameron Moss over at right guard as a freshman redshirt, 71 overall. This is going to be a really interesting year because our offensive line looks a little depleted, if you ask me. But we're willing to give it a shot. Kenny has improved his throwing, at least from what it looks like. Hopefully he can carry the team, at least not fumble the football, hopefully, with his running abilities. So we'll see how that works out. Um, but we're going to take a look here. We're going to get on here with the regular season. And we got ourselves a big, tall order here to to fill. Because we just moved conferences. And it's, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be really interesting this year. I just don't know how it's going to pan out. <laughs> we'll see, though. Um... Obviously, I want to hear you guys' feedback on the conference change and what you guys think will happen in this upcoming season. How many wins will we get? All this good stuff. Uh, I honestly think this team has probably a good solid nine wins in them if we play our cards right and everything goes out the way we want it to be. Um, 
No guarantees, though. Obviously, we got a, we had one loss last year. We had two losses the year before, and that was in the Sun Belt Conference. Now we're playing in the Big 12, where there's better competition and better teams. And now we have a couple. Th we added more teams in there just to kind of give ourselves a conference championship game. Um, so we're taking a look at the top 25. Let's take a look at the preseason polls. Uh, Alabama is ranked number one. Ohio State two. Appalachian State 3. They're in the ACC now, so they have some competition now, finally. South Carolina 4. Virginia Tech 5. Texas 6. Florida 7. Uh, USC 8. Michigan State 9. Ole Miss 10. Uh, Notre Dame 11. Georgia Tech 12. UCLA 13. UCF 14. Nebraska 15. Oregon 16. Louisville 17. Texas A&M 18. Miami 19. Georgia 20. We have Arizona at 21, Iowa at 22, Wisconsin 23, UConn 24, and Washington number 25. Where do we fall? We fall number 28 in the country. It's not bad. 86 overall offense, 83 defense, and 84 overall. Special teams is still lacking, but who do we have as the worst team in the country? That's what we're about to find out here, and it is Georgia State. With South Alabama and Texas, Georgia Southern, Kent State, and Texas State as the bottom feeders of the NCAA. Um, take a look at the preseason Heisman watch as we have Brian Petit, or AKA Jameis Winston, Lance Holt, Matt Jenkins, Marquise Reed, and Luke James as the top Heisman candidates. Do we have any preseason All Americans? I doubt it. Uh, we got one. We got Roger Kane at defensive or left end as a and Ryan Dixon. So that's an that's something. Any uh, second team? Eh, no. We got two All Americans. One at return man though. And one at left end. So that's actually pretty good. Um, championship contenders. Where do we fall as far as how we're going to rank over the past or the next four years? Uh, we're kind of falling off a little bit, but we kind of have an up and down swing going on right here. That's kind of expected with a team like this. Um, but our first week, we're going to get ready to take on Tulane as we are ready to begin year three of the Arkansas State Red Wolves dynasty. We're now in the Big 12. We shook up the conferences a little bit, trying to make out the competition at least a little bit different. So we'll see how it goes. Um, there's no guarantees on anything, obviously. Uh, the conference change is going to be a big thing. And we're going to see how well we can fare out in the Big 12 this year. And I hope you guys are ready to enjoy the ride. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And I know, like I said before, live streams have to happen next time. And it will. We will do the live streams next year in the in the off season. Just this time around, I just couldn't do it because there's just a lot of stuff going on that I'm not available to do them at the moment. Like right now, as you're watching this video, I'm somewhere in the Northwest, probably in Seattle. Um, I'm in the great Northwest visiting some people up there and uh, we're gonna make some advancements in what we do here on this channel. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Until then, my name is Sim with Vengeance. Peace out.